This is Adha Secondary School in Mala. The start of the conflict on November 4, 2020, that was followed by an ethnic cleansing campaign in western Tigray, has led to the displacement of millions and a need for schools such as Adha to be repurposed to housing the ever-growing number of internally displaced persons in Tigray. Children have borne the brunt of this crisis, with thousands said to be separated and left without care. Daniel Gabru and Leta Madhun Barha say they were displaced from western Tigray, where Amhara forces have been undertaking an aggressive ethnic cleansing campaign since November of 2020. I used to live in western Tigray, Sagada district. I was in grade 4 before the war in Tigray started in 2020. We were made to leave our home in Adabai by the Fano. It's a village just 10 kilometers from Humara in western Tigray. We arrived to Magala after a tiresome journey. I was in grade 5 before the war erupted in 2020. I am from the Tsagade district. We were forced to leave the comfort of our homes by the Amhara militia and the Fano. Separated families are yet to find their way to one another. I know nothing about my brother's whereabouts. The massive number of internally displaced persons in Tigray also means that many are dependent to aid to fulfill basic needs much of which is not able to reach Tigray due to a nine months long siege on Tigray that has blocked food aid and medical supplies. When we are yelling out for food, no one is helping us. Our family members have no options and just crying because they cannot afford it. They themselves are starving to death. There is no food aid here. We are eating uncommon leaves because we are starving. This is beyond our family's capacity. They cannot give us anything to eat. We used to receive aid in the very beginning, but now we are in desperate need of emergency food assistance. I want to go back to my hometown and continue my education. I also want to meet my brothers, friends, and family. My family and friends are in Shira, Abi Adi, and Magala. I haven't seen them in a long time. I would like to go. The over 2 million IDPs are just one portion of the community in Tigray in dire need of assistance. A targeted campaign on agricultural produce, tools, and infrastructure, coupled with nine months long siege on the region that has discontinued all basic services, including banking and telecommunication, has meant that most people in Tigray are not able to fulfill basic needs.